Today, we're going to be talking about our predictions for the Anthony Arsenal versus Yanni Diakamahalas event. Let's get right into the video. So, of course, a lot of Cornell wrestlers in this event, but the headline is Yanni versus Arsenal. Uh, both guys were NCAA champions. We just saw Arsenal compete uh, at the eight man, took a tough loss to Budrung. It was a pretty dominating performance by Budrung. It was like 8 0 or something. Um, I think the last time we saw Yanni wrestle was when he. Um, lost by criteria to Vladimir Kinchik's really at the beat the streets. Um, but at the year before that at beat the streets, Yanni actually ended up beating Budrung. Uh, I think it was by one or two points, really close match. Um, not the best officiated match, but he did end up beating him. Um, and because of that, Yanni is just a great wrestler. Uh, he did good at the RTC Cup. He's a great scrambler. And although Ashton does have that weight advantage, since Yanni has beaten world-class opponents like Bajrang Punia and almost beaten like Olympic medalists like Vladimir Kinchik is really definitely got him here in this matchup against Anthony Ashnal. Next matchup we got Vito Rujao versus Michael Kolieko. Uh, I think they're both sophomores actually but Rujao's season was just canceled. I think Kolieko's season will be canceled as well. Um, so it's a good good matchup. We get to see these two guys wrestle but I think it's really just gonna be Vito dominating this whole matchup. As you guys know, he's a great wrestler in freestyle. We saw him do well at the RTC Cup, just like Yanni did. Uh, we saw him do well at against Jack Mueller. Uh, he's a USA Senior Nationals champion. He's an NCAA All-American at 125. While Kolieko, also an NCAA champ, uh, not a champion, NCAA placer at 125. But we really haven't seen him wrestle that well in freestyle. I can't really think of any major tournaments that uh, he's wrestled in, and I looked through some records, couldn't find anything about his freestyle experience. Um, he was a top-ranked recruit, uh, like maybe two years ago, number one guy. But I think in this matchup, given Vito's like freestyle prowess, made the Olympic trials, like beat Nick Soriano, and great freestyle opponents like that, I think um, he's probably going to win this one, and most likely by five or six points or more. And then next up, we got another uh, ex-Cornell wrestler, Kyle Dake uh, versus a guy who I really don't think stands that much of a chance against Kyle Dake, Dave McFadden. Uh, McFadden, don't get me wrong, he's a good wrestler, but a four-time NCAA placer, a four-time NCAA qualifier, a U23 uh, team member like two years ago, but really hasn't excelled at freestyle just like Kyle Dake has. A guy was like a two-time world champion, uh, beat Jordan Burroughs a few times here and there, beat great wrestlers. He's beaten like David Taylor, a guy who's ranked like maybe number two or number one in his weight class in the world right now. Um, so this one, I don't really have to explain it that much. I think you guys would understand that Kyle Dake probably going to attack this guy. Uh, no offense to this David McFadden dude. And then the last matchup on the main card, Gabe Dean versus Mike Machiavello. Uh, both great wrestlers, but Dean, two-time NCAA champion, while Machiavello uh, was an NCAA qualifier, but I don't think he ever even placed. Um, in freestyle, I think Mike also just took a loss to Bo Nickel maybe a few months ago. Gabe Dean uh, was in the finals at Senior Nationals um, and is having a pretty good wrestling career after coming back. He retired, but I would probably go with Gabe Dean um, in this matchup. Just has more experience, I would feel, um, and it's just a better wrestler in my opinion. So probably Gabe Dean here by three or four points. But yeah, it's gonna wrap up our video on the Spartan Wrestling Combat event uh, coming up. Headline, of course, Ashnal versus Yanni. That one is probably gonna be the best matchup of the whole entire night. Uh, a few of these matches on the main card, I feel like the Kyle Dake one. Um, and probably the Vito Arujan one is just going to be tax for both of those guys. Uh, but on the undercard, it is somewhat interesting. They got a few good guys. Like uh, I think they have Evan Henderson, a um, few guys like that. Mostly just Cornell guys are giving a chance to wrestle off in this event. Should be pretty interesting, but definitely the match to watch would probably be Gabe Dean versus Mike Machiavello and then Yanni versus Anthony Ashnall. But yeah, make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below, and sub for more wrestling content like this. Peace.